a manufacturer has been selling 1,700 television sets a week at $480 each. A market survey indicates that for each $14 rebate offered to a buyer, the number of sets sold will increase by 140 per week. A. Find the demand function P of X, where X is the number of television sets sold per week. P of X would be the price. B. How large of a rebate should the company offer to a buyer to maximize revenue? And C. If the weekly cost function is given here, how should it set the amount of rebate to maximize profit? We'll begin by determining the demand function P of X, and because we're told that for each $14 rebate, the number of television sets sold will increase by 140 per week, this indicates that P of X will be a linear function. In any point on our function P of X, the X coordinate would be the number of televisions sold, or X, and the Y coordinate would be P of X, which would be the price. So what we'll do is find two points on the linear function, and then find the slope, and then find the equation using point-slope form. So for the first ordered pair, we know 1,700 televisions are sold when the price is $480. And now to find the second point, we know that if we decrease the price by $14, the number sold will increase by 140. So if we drop the price by $14, 480 minus 14 would be 466. And that would increase the number of televisions sold by 140. 1,700 plus 140 would be 1,840. And now from here we can find the slope. To keep things organized, let's call these the ones, x sub one, y sub one, and they call these the twos. So the slope is gonna be equal to y sub two minus y sub one, or the change in the price, divided by x sub two minus x sub one, or the change in the quantity sold. So here we'll have negative 14 divided by 140. This simplifies to negative one-tenth, so the slope is negative one-tenth. And now to find the equation of P of X, we'll use this slope and one of these two points. Let's go ahead and use this point here. So using point slope form of a line, where Y is our function, P of X, we would have P of X minus y sub one, which would be 480, equals m, which is negative one-tenth, times the quantity x minus x sub one, or minus 1,700. Let's go ahead and solve this for p of x. So we have p of x minus 480 equals negative one-tenth x, and this would be plus 170. Add 480 to both sides gives us our demand function, P of X equals negative one-tenth X, and then plus 650. Again, where X is the quantity sold, and P of X would be the price. Part B, how large of a rebate should the company offer to a buyer to maximize revenue? Let's begin by determining the revenue function the revenue function R of X would be equal to the price times the quantity, or in our case, P of X times X, where P of X we just found as negative one-tenth X plus 650 and then times X. So the revenue function R of X equals negative one-tenth X squared plus 650X now to maximize the revenue, we'll begin by determining the critical numbers, which is where the first derivative would be equal to zero or undefined. So for r prime of x, we would have, multiplying by negative two, that'd be negative two tenths or negative one fifth, x to the first, plus 650. This is never undefined, so to find the only critical number, we'll set this equal to zero and solve. Subtracting 650 on both sides, we'd have negative one fifth x, equals negative 650. Now to solve for x, we'll multiply both sides by negative five. 
which would give us x equals 3,250. Now to verify that this x value does maximize the revenue function, not minimize it, we can use either the first or second derivative test. Notice if we find the second derivative, or r double prime of x, this is equal to just negative one-fifth. Since the second derivative is negative, that means the function is concave down, or in this shape here, which is good news because that means at this critical number, we have a high point or a relative maximum. So the revenue is maximized at this quantity, but the question asks about how large of a rebate we should have. So to determine the amount of rebate, we'll first have to determine the price of the televisions at this quantity, which should be P of 3,250, and here's P of X here, so we'd have negative one-tenth times 3,250 plus 650, so give us negative 325 plus 650, which is positive 325. So this is the price that would maximize the revenue, but again the question asks about the rebate. Remember the original price was $480. So the rebate amount would be equal to the original price minus the price that maximizes the revenue, which is 325, this is equal to 155, which means the revenue is maximized when the rebate is $155. So this question is a little tricky because we need to make sure that we do answer the correct question. And then for part C, if the weekly cost function is given here, how should it set the amount of the rebate to maximize profit? So now the goal is to maximize the profit, where profit is equal to revenue minus cost. We'll begin by determining the profit function. P of x equals R of x minus C of x, where we found the revenue function on part B here, and we're given the cost function. Let's go ahead and clear the parentheses and combine like terms. So we'd have minus 136,000 and then minus 160x. So we have two like terms here, so our profit function P of x equals negative one-tenth x squared plus 490x minus 136,000. And now to maximize this, we'll begin by determining the critical numbers, by determining where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. So we'd have negative one-fifth x plus 490 minus zero. This is never undefined, so we'll set it equal to zero and solve for x. Negative one-fifth x equals negative 490. Multiply both sides by negative five. And we have x equals 2,000 450. So again, this is the quantity, and to verify that P of X is maximized at this value of X, we can go ahead and use the second derivative test again. Notice how P double prime of X is equal to negative one-fifth, again verifying that the function is concave down, and therefore we have a high point, or a maximum function value, at this critical number. But again, the question asks for the rebate amount, not the quantity that should be produced and sold. So now we'll find the price that maximizes the profit, which would be P of 2,450, which would be negative one-tenth times 2,450 plus 650, which would be negative 245 plus 650, which is 405. So a price of $405 will maximize the revenue, which means the rebate amount is equal to the original price of $480 minus the price that would maximize revenue of $405. This difference is equal to 75, which means the profit is maximized when the rebate is $75. I hope you found this helpful.